In this video, I'm going to show you how to retouch a watch using Photoshop. We're going to start with a watch like this, retouch it, so you could use it like this on a white background, and I'll also show you how to put it on another background like this. Just before we get started, please do uh, subscribe to the channel and also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Okay, let's get stuck into it. First thing we can do is we're going to retouch all the dust. So we're going to create an extra layer in Photoshop and then we're going to come over to our menu up here, our filter menu. We're going to go to noise, dust and scratches and we're going to set this. A good setting for this is 4 and a threshold of 8. And what that's going to do is that's going to blur this layer a little bit. As you can see a lot of the dust has uh, disappeared. Then we're going to add a black mask on here like that. And what that's going to do is, it's, we're still going to see the layers below with all the dust, like you can see all the dust here. Then we're going to grab the brush tool over here, and we're going to make sure we set, we're going to set the brush onto white in a second, and then we're just going to just go over where all our dust is. So we're just going to rub all over like this, we change the opacity a little bit as we um, that's going to get rid of most of this. Now when you're doing this too, on a surface like this, which is black, there's no real texture on here, so you're not going to lose any detail really by doing it this way. When you get up to areas like this, you can see it's taking away some of the detail, so you've got to be careful. You can also see that we accidentally did this, so we'll undo that in a minute. We'll just switch this to a black brush, and then we can easily rub that back out over here. We might um, cut the opacity down just a little bit so we're not uh, not taking away this edge here. Once we've done the watch face, we're just going to go around the case of the watch just a little bit, just to clean it up just a bit. It's not, not too bad, so it doesn't need too much. So we're just going to repeat the same process, just using the, the white brush tool. We'll also clean up some of the other areas of the watch. Right now that we've done that, the next step is we're going to use the pen tool and we're just going to cut the watch out. So it's a pretty time consuming process to do this. Um, you can get quite quick at it with a bit of practice. I'm not going to go into a full tutorial on how to use the pen tool. There's plenty of them on YouTube already. So just um, you can have a look at how to do this. But we're just going to go right around the edges of the watch. Now when you're doing this too, make sure you get into all the little gaps like this as well. So we want to we want to also remove all the background where it's showing through. Okay, once you've done this, we're going to make a selection from our path. We're going to right click, make selection, and we're going to use a feather as well. So we're going to put about one pixel in for the feathering. And that's made a path like that now, or a selection. And then after this, now we're going to use Control or Command J, and that's going to put our selection on a new layer. And what I've also done is created a fill layer, a white layer, just so we can see uh, see the watch easily underneath. Otherwise, it'll be otherwise we're going to be seeing the background of our other watches or our uh, other layers, I should say. And what we're going to do now is we're going to change our fill layer just to grey. So we're just going to click on it over here. We'll use the selection over here and we'll just click a grey colour. That way we can see the edges really clearly and see if we've missed anything, see if there's any white coming through. Now we're just going to cut out up here. We're going to feather it a little bit more, two pixels, just because it's a little bit blurry. So we don't want a real hard edge here. So we're just going to use the lasso tool just to, to do that. Since it's a pretty, it's a bit of a freehand job here. It's not really well defined. So we're just going to clean up our edges a little bit. Now we're just going to use the eraser tool, and we're just going to again clean up the edge just ever so slightly. Now the amount of detail you go into is just really going to depend on you know, how large the image is going to end up. If it's going to end up really large, then you want to spend quite a bit of time on this doing doing a nice job. What we're also doing, guys, is um, we're just taking away some of that white edge because we don't really want that coming through because it was shot on a white background. If you were to put it on a black background, that would really stand out. You'd have a white sort of ring, white, white outline around the around the product. So 
we're just making sure we're not going to get any of that coming through. Now that we've finished masking the watch, now we're going to straighten it. It's a little bit crooked, so what I've done is I've set up some guides, and you, you can do that by left-clicking over here, and you can pull them across. So we're just going to put one for the center, these two for the center, horizontal and vertical, and then we're just going to mark the bottom and the top of the watch. We're going to fix up this because it's a little bit crooked as well. And we just rotate the watch and center it on the canvas here. Okay, you want to use um, Control T or Command T, and now we're just going to we're just going to pull the watch across, as you can see, just to straighten it up a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to fix the strap that's not straight. So we're just going to cut the end of the strap off like this. We'll just quickly use the pen tool and go around it. And we don't need to go close to the edges because we've already done that. But we'll feather it again slightly. Now we're going to create a new layer. So that is that is control. J, so we've created, there's our little section here, which is just this part that we've cut out. Now we're going to use a transform tool. So that's up here in the edit menu, so you can go edit, transform, and then there's, you'll see several options to choose from, like skew, uh, perspective, and you can choose, you should play with them and see which one works best, but we're going to use, uh, I think we're going to use a skew to do this one. So we're just going to grab the corner here, and as you can see, we can just bend it and just straighten it up a little bit. So now we're going to do the same for the bottom part of the watch strap. So exactly the same process. We're make a selection again, we're going to hit Control J or Command J, and now we're going to use the Transform Form tool again, and we're just going to pull it to where we want it, just using our guides here. Alright, that's pretty good now. So it's just a little bit off looked okay up close but now we can see it's not quite right so what we've done now we've just selected the watch over here and we're just going to pull it down just in line with our guidelines that I've just added because the watch wasn't completely square and that might have been probably because it wasn't shot exactly level like uh, parallel with the watch and there's just a little bit of perspective distortion happening. So now we'll, after we've done this, then we can put our watch straps back in and then we can make our, our little adjustments just to, uh, then, they'll, then they'll look straight after we've done that. Okay, so now we've just added some more guides just for the edge of the watch and we're just gonna fine tune those straps again. Just get them using the transform tool and just nudging them across just a little bit just to get the alignment just right. And they're never, they're never perfect, these watches either. So the only way to get them to look 100% perfect is to fix them up here in post-production. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fix up the face of the watch. We're gonna make those hands look amazing and give a little bit more detail. And we'll just use the elliptical marquee tool over here. And you can just drag it out like this and you can, until you get a nice circle, you can use the shift key and that's going to keep it circular. We're going to just do a transform. A selection just so we can get it right exactly on the line. Just go around and check that you've got the selection just right and then you can hit Control J. So what I'm doing now is we're just going to cut out all these markers because I want to adjust them independently. So it's a little bit time consuming but we're just going to go through again. Just use the uh, Using the pen tool, we're going to go around all of them and make a selection. Some of them we're going to copy and we're just going to paste them because some of the markers don't look good. We're just going to be careful that the light still is reasonably consistent. So you wouldn't be able to do this for every single marker because otherwise they're all going to look the same and the light's not going to look right but you can get away with it for some of them. So we're just gonna go straight over the top like that and just, just replace them. So I've just taken one of the better looking ones. What we're gonna do next now is we're gonna cut out these little markers here. Now I tried to fix up these markers a little bit, but I found I'm not really getting much out of what's there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a shape here using the rectangle shape. I'm just gonna round the corners a little bit 
So it sort of is close to the existing markers there because we need to fix up those markers because they're not looking that great. And we're going to fill this with a colour that's very similar to what we've got. Just make these just a little bit, bit more round, those corners. So you can adjust that to how you want. And then we're going to drag this across and put this on top of our marker. We'll use the Control T for transform. Just rotate it and get it to the right size. Once we've got one right, we're going to duplicate it. And we're just going to work our way around the entire watch. So once we've done all four, we're going to select them. We're going to put them in a new group and then we're going to duplicate the group. And that'll just save a bit of time. And now we can just rotate them and pop them on. And we're just going to keep repeating that process until we've gotten through the whole watch. Now what we'll do is this, we're going to use a curves layer. This is just on the watch face as you can see on our watch layer. And we're just going to make some adjustments to just even up the way the black comes across on the watch. So we're just going to use the brush tool. We're just going to paint that onto our layer. Right, now that we've adjusted the contrast, we've given it a lot more contrast as you can see. We're just using the curves, we've just made some nice adjustments. But we're going to fix up some of this text. We made a little mistake earlier where we just, uh, when we were doing the dust, we went over it. So we're just going to choose the colour and we're just going to paint lightly over using the brush tool, just over the text, just to lighten it up a little bit and just make it a little bit more solid. And so that'll stand out a bit more. So we've only got the opacity on 50% here. So we're just going to go around the text just like this. Just going to further adjust the watch face. We just use selective color, black. And then we can just adjust that like that, just with the mask. We put a mask on here and that should just really affect the black. So that's just going to help increase the contrast get that watch face looking really good. Okay, final thing we can do is you can see the gap here. I've pulled out the crown of the watch just so uh, so the time stays the same. We're just going to cut it out, make a selection, a little tiny bit of feathering, and now we're just going to duplicate that, Control J, and we're just going to slide it across. Just match the shape or the rotation just a little bit. And there we go, perfect. No more gap. And that is about it guys, just you can make a few more little adjustments if you like. But that's how we do the bulk of the retouching. Now that we've got our watch cleaned up, I'm going to show you how to create the, the gradient layer like this. So I'm just going to start again. So when we come down here, I'm just going to add a solid colour. In this case it'll be black. Here's our layer, just put it under the watch like that. Now we can just double click on here, gradient, and change the opacity, how much of the effect that you want to come through. So we're going to click on here, and this here is going to control our effect over here. So actually let's just put this up to 100% just so we can see what the effect is doing. So this here is going to, that's how big the effect is going to be. And this here is that going to be the colour, so we're going to click on it. Change it to whatever colour you like. In this case we're just going to keep it pretty simple. You can even have it as white. Because that'll be coming through to the black underneath it. So once you've got that how you want it. And then you can also just adjust the effect here. So this is just going to be how much it, uh, how much gradient there actually is. So you can just slide that to where you want it. Just have a little, little bit of a glow, maybe like that. You can adjust the opacity of the effect here. Now that effect hasn't come all the way out, but uh, we could just go, we could rasterize that layer by right click, like that, Control T. And you could easily pull that across like that. And if we don't want the effect so strong, we can we can just cut that down a little bit. What we might do is we'll add a 
we can add another black layer underneath it like this and now we can just adjust how much of the effect that we want and that is it guys so i hope you enjoyed this video on uh, how to retouch our watch please uh, subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment if you want me to show you how to retouch something else thanks